Sean, what we have uh, you have with you today uh, some features from I iOS do. 14? Um, so we'll talk a little bit about updating your device. So whether you have an iPad or an iPhone, um, occasionally, usually yearly, uh, a major software update will come out. And um, so I actually got on the uh, the beta public beta for iOS 14. Um, previous to 14 was 13 and and also throughout the year uh, updates to the current operating system will be released. So um, a couple, I guess about a month ago, iOS, iOS 13.7 re was released. Well, also generally right around June or so, um, they'll have the beta process open up to where um, and, and anybody can do it. You can go to, <laughs> at your own risk, <laughs> I, I will say, uh, you can go to beta.apple.com and sign in with your Apple ID and password and it'll give you instructions on how to join the public beta to where you can download the, the next operating system, whether it be the Mac, uh, the, the phone, the watch, the Apple TV, all of them are on there. Um, uh, and they, they start out at, uh, you know, like 14, 14 uh, iOS 14 beta 1 and beta 2, and, and they start releasing new features and new bugs. <laughs> so, like I said, join at your own risk. Um, <laughs> I, I joined about the middle of August, yeah. I think, near the end of August. Um, Usually my, my, my modus of operandi is I, I wait. The, until, you know, a little while after the new up, yeah, so just to see what other users braver than I, but uh, how they fare with it. But you know, this uh, beard alternative as well. So this one's been pretty good. Um, hadn't been a lot of complaints on this one, um, and there are some pretty cool things added. So this, like I said, yesterday was Apple's keynote. They usually don't release. Uh, you know, usually they give it a week. Um, actually, I was reading on some articles this morning. They were saying a lot of the developers di didn't even realize that they were going to be releasing it today. So <laughs> they there might be a little bit of catch up to do on software updates. To uh, you know, major apps like Facebook are going to be updated pretty much instantly, but other apps there might be a little bit of lag in between. So. Um, I, you know, I'll mention some new features just in general. Um, I'll also mention some accessibility features and, and things you might run across. This is in no way meant to be everything. Um, just to give you a little sample of what, yeah. what's on the menu. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, tonight or once we're done today, if you want to try out the real iOS 14, you can go to uh, settings general software update and software update if, if it's current if it's released uh, Kevin looked about 30 minutes ago and it hadn't come out yet mm -hmm. so it you know it'll probably be this afternoon yeah or if it's it'll be there yeah, it will. Um, it's coming you know, down the pipe it's coming down the pipe yep so um, I got and, and all the beta people they got theirs last night so I'm fresh new um, first release, so we'll see how soon it crashes. Just kidding. <laughs> um, so, where to start? <laughs> where to start? <laughs> so, uh, let's talk uh, a little bit about the accessibility screen. Um, some things that are new in here. Um, this this first one's actually really pretty neat. Um, it's it's a feature for for folks that are hearing impaired or may have some hearing impairment I have uh, selective hearing loss you know I can choose when I hear something or not I, I work with Speech it for five on. years trust me that's true <laughs> um, vision heading magnifier I'm going off, down button. here to just mode audio physical touch face I switch voice control side button Apple TV keyboard hearing hearing device sound recognition on button sound recognition it's the second item under the hearing category 
And what it is, um, is your phone, uh, you know, whether it's idle, whatever it's going on, will always be listening for sound recognition, uh, accessibility, back button for specific sounds. So I'm going to go down here. To Choose which courses. sounds to recognize. Sounds, alarms, heading. Um, so the first part of the recognition is alarms. Fire, Fire. On. siren, on. smoke, animals, he cat, on, dog, on. So basically what happens is it will your phone will alert you when it hears a sound. Um, say a dog or a cat or a, a doorbell. Um, let's see if my Lady A is working again. Alexa, play a doorbell. Guess not. <laughs> yep, okay. Um, unfortunately, I can't give an example right now. Um, but it, it's it's really quite neat. Uh, it whichever ones of these you have turned on, um, if it hears, if it detects the sound, it'll pop up with alert. Bloom, uh, you know, sound uh, sound recognition sound recognition detected or do a doorbell. Um, so you know, really for anyone, this could be useful. Say if you're listening to music and uh, you know you know happen to hear the doorbell your your phone will hear it so mm. that's pretty neat i would definitely been there for sure yeah not not knowing if someone's at the door okay what else we got there Sean? all right so let's go here sound recognition. Um, back button sound let's go to sounds eight button let's go to voiceover um it's the top of the accessibility, accessibility screen back button. sound rec sound recognition on Accessibility. Back access. John, do you want me to play a doorbell from over here and see if it'll pick it up? Yeah. Awesome idea. Sure. Are you still in the right settings? You're good. Yep. Okay. Let me turn. I guess it wasn't loud enough. Yes, not. Here, let me let's, let's let's do this. Microphone. Try again. Well, that was a cut off that doorbell. Was muted. That was a muted doorbell. Here, Kevin, I'll send you the link. You can play it on your phone. Okay. <clears throat> All right, one second, folks. We're just looking this out in real time. Here we go. Vertical scroll camera, but app camera. Rebecca Smith, react, activate, defend. 213 and red. Back, Rebecca. Your right message yesterday, 447. Yeah. Maybe not. Okay. okay. Well, uh, too many moving parts, but yeah. Um, it does work. It I does promise. work. Just not at the moment. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm in the voiceover screen. There's a new feature, uh, it's right under the Braille setting. And right above the verbosity setting, it's called voiceover recognition. And so um, this has actually been around through iOS 13. Other apps have gotten this as well. Facebook, you may hear sometimes when you're on a um, going through Facebook and you you'll run across a picture that has text in it, like the memes or such, and how uh, basically the Facebook app will run OCR on that picture and read you the text. Well. Man, they've taken this a whole nother step further. Um, let me give, let me go over to, um, I'm going to news, because that's really the best example. Not that I enjoy reading the news lately, but. <laughs> Why? Well, it's, it's, so, it's so positive. It is. It's so great. <laughs> Today feed, video, CNN, 
Most Americans probably won't be able to get a COVID-19 vaccine until mid-2021, CDC director says, nine minutes ago. Okay. Words. That didn't have... Characters. Headings. I'm gonna... Screen recognition. NBC 5DF. Screen recognition on for news. There we go. Okay. The Washington Post. CNN. Most Americans probably won't be able to get a COVID-19 vaccine until mid-2021, CDC director says, nine minutes ago. Okay, no picture with The that Washington one, but... Post. Low-income students are dropping out of college this fall in alarming numbers. Nine minutes ago, a person holding a bag and standing next to a car. Oh. A person holding a bag and standing next to a car. So, yeah, all, a lot of the news stories, uh, you know, probably have photos or some kind of, uh, you know, picture with them. And so it Voice. describes no. Flop. Speech off. It describes the picture, uh, you know, in, in a general like, way. Like in a general way with the headline. Um Where's another one? Let's see here. Speak. The Washington Post, NBC News. Top HHS official takes leave of absence after Facebook rant on CDC conspiracies. Ten minutes ago, a person wearing a suit and tie standing in front of a white wall. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it's, um, it's pretty neat. And even to the point of in certain apps, uh, it will describe, say, the um, like the icon that you're on. So I'm going to open Ira. Open Ira. And then I'm going to go through on. here. Invite. Free offer applied. Promotion. Call Ira for free. From phone. Button. A blue circle with a white phone icon on it. Oh. So, yeah. It's, Speech off. And even to the point of that I was, when I was watching the uh, keynote yesterday, the video, um, I turned on the this, this mode, and it was actually describing pictures within the video. Now, you know, it's not like seeing it. Uh, you know, it's not detailed yet however uh if there is uh if there's print or text in the picture um you know twitter is a great example of, uh, of a lot of times people will post memes or pictures with you know t maybe a, a a cell phone screenshot or something like along those lines mm -hmm. um it works really well for reading those yes um it's really neat so that is new. Um, I'm going to take a second here. If anybody's got any questions, uh, once again, if you press uh, Alt-Y to raise your hand on the um, computer. If, you, uh, if you're on the phone and you want to ask a question, it's star nine. And I'm just kind of looking through here real quick. Didn't look like anybody so far. All right. We'll keep going here. All right. What's the one next on the list, Sean? Um, so this is, this is just kind of a general uh, a feature. And it's called... Um, it's called, they're, they're widgets, they're called widgets. Um, so it's, it can be uh, a, I guess the best way to explain it is kind of like having a, uh, a simple version of an app. And here, I'll kind of show you what I mean here. So, screen recognition, actions, edit mode. Let me go to edit mode here. Started editing. And um, so now in the mail is it done button. The top left corner of the screen, I have done add widget button. And then I have add widget. So I'm gonna hit double tap here on add widget. Search widgets, search field. And so basically, just about all the apps I have on my phone have a, a widget with them. And so wi widgets just kind of a, a real basic. Uh, sampling of maybe uh, content from that app. So Web, we'll news, weather, smart stack, widget, stack, medium, suggested button. Okay, so we got weather, news, news, today, music, recently music. played, TV. Up next, weather, forecast, maps. Okay, so widget. we're gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, weather, maps, widget, weather, TV, weather, forecast, widget, small, suggested button. Double tap on that. 
Weather. Heading. Close. Forecast. See the current weather conditions and forecast for a location. Widget preview. Page one of three. Add widget. Button. That's at the bottom there. I'm add, adding the widget. Add widget. Button. And then. Done. Button. Going to done. done. Client service. Weather. Widget. Client services. Three of three Wi-Fi bars. Clock. One. Camera. Mail. Weather. Widget. Fort Worth. 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Mostly cloudy. High of 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Low of 71 degrees Fahrenheit. So now Actions I have available. this. I have this button. It's in the top left corner of my screen uh, where my apps are. And anytime I touch it. Fort Worth. 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Most it's going to tell me the weather. Now, you know, the other way to do that, of course, is you'd open up weather and go review the weather app to see, you know, what the current weather is. Uh, of course, you could ask It's almost like Siri. It's, a, it's like a, it's like a preview of, of a status bar. Yeah, it's kind of like a little, for your little status bar. Mm -hmm. So here's the other neat thing about this whole widget thing is you can stack these on top of each other. So I'm going to go back Actions, in there. Weather, widget. Fort Worth, Fort Worth, edit mode. Go into edit. Started editing. Weather, done. Add widget, button. I'll add another one here. Search, news, music, TV, note, maps, tips, calendar, photos, clock, screen time, weather, smart stack, batteries, button. Here we go. We'll do batteries. Battery, add widget, button. Add it to the screen. Batteries, is editing, widget, done, button, done, done. batteries. Batteries with weather. Batteries widget. iPhone two eighty four percent. Okay, so now I got two of them. I got two of them in the top part of my screen. But here's what I'm gonna do. iPhone two eighty four percent. Edit mode. Go to edit. Started editing. Batter. Drag batteries. I'm gonna drag it. Weather. Mail is weather. Is cancel drag. Create new stack. With, drop batteries after weather. Create new stack with what? Drop complete. Widget stack. So now it says widget stack, and it means. Both of these are basically together. They're kind of uh, they're kind of welded together. Think of it, think batteries of it that way. Is editing widget stack drag battery activate default finish batteries widget stack iPhone two eighty four percent. Okay, so right there now I got my battery, so I can flick down on this. Next widget. It says next widget. Double tap. Widget one of two. White text on a blue background. Fort Worth. 85 degrees Fahrenheit, mostly cloudy, high of 86 degrees Fahrenheit. And now I got weather. Um, so I can switch back and forth. I can make that icon either the battery or I can make it um, speech off or I can make it the weather. And I could even stack to, you know, another one. I could have three or four of them all. And I, I basically make that one little icon. This is basically like one little finger width of the screen. Uh, multiple, multiple items. That's it's like a uh, almost <laughs> like as if you're if you would compare it to something. It's like a an app switcher of sorts. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah, you know, instead of having to go to the app switcher and pull up that app directly, you can toggle and get quick info about that app from the widget, be it the forecast or the battery or something, right? I know it's kind of hard to understand from here, and this is something I can definitely go over off the phone. This a is bit just more a niche, but yeah, yeah, you know, it's just a way of kind of showing some of the new things out there. Um, Speech on weather widget. The stack. next thing I'm going to go look at here. Home. Uh, there's a new app in here. It's called Translate. Pay translate. Before you start translating, are you gonna? I, I need to. Are you gonna translate out of here? Yes, I need to exit stage right. But I Sex, exit stage Stop. left yes, is the name of the album. Yes, you know. right. That doors to the left. So All everybody right. be out, out there, be well, be safe. And Thanks, I'll see you back here for Ask the Blind Guy. <laughs> All, right. All right. All right. So the translate app does just that. It lets you. Uh, you know, say you need to uh, speak to someone in another language. Um, and I have it set here from the uh, from Spanish to English. Uh, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to say something. Um, what should I say? 
Hello, how are you today? Hola, ¿qué tal estás hoy? <laughs> so, I don't know if you caught that. I'll do that again. Um, let's see here. And there are, there are a bunch of different languages to choose from. I mean, you can go from English to French. Um, let's see. Um, how do you like your new phone? ¿Cómo te gusta tu teléfono nuevo? That's pretty quick. Really quick. Um, it will, so you, like I said, you go in here and you pick the from language, from and to, you know, the start and finish. Um, and then you just, you've got two options here. You've got uh, a microphone where you can speak, or you have a text box where you can type in uh, what you want translated, and just boom. It's, it, you can actually load languages onto your device, so it's it'll either do it via data connection or it'll do it in real time. Um, it's got a favorites thing here, so you can favorite certain phrases. Might be handy if you go to uh, travel to another country. So that I think is pretty neat. Um, you can also use this translate feature. Uh, within websites. So say you go to a website and um, you know, by default uh, voiceover will automatically switch languages. So uh, if the website is in Spanish it'll switch to a dialect of Spanish. Uh, well if you have the translate mode on it will tell you um, it will it will translate it to English. <laughs> so that's that's pretty far out. Um, I will take another chance to if anyone's got questions, uh, if you're on the computer, it's Alt Y to raise your hand. It's Control, uh, sorry, Star Nine from the phone. Anyone? Anyone got a question? Liz wrote in the chat. She said, "Is this going to mess up my current widgets?" Images would be nice for low vision or sighted assistance. Maybe added to video before video posted to YouTube before I leave. Okay. Um, I, I don't, I mean, I don't believe it'll mess up your existing widgets. It will definitely add more widgets. Um, it has a full library of choices and it really just depends on the apps that are on your, um, on your phone. If that answers your question. Yes, that does. Um, is there any way to get images so that once I upload this, I know what I'm looking for? Mm, I didn't mean wait. wait. Explain. <laughs> I'm not okay. Sure. Um, since I'm low vision, um, both verbal and visual cues help me learn. Uh, and with all these changes, I kind of want to know what I'm going to be in for. So I don't really like mess stuff up right. and have okay. to go back and start over. Uh, the voice descriptions, as far as I know, for like the pictures, uh, could be only if you have voiceover on. Um, going to say, I mean, for actually viewing an image, uh, you have the smart invert, so that will leave the pictures in their normal color, but invert the text color. All right, uh, let's see here. What else do we got? Um, I will say that Siri uh, has gotten some improvements. The Apple claims that she knows something like 20% more random, uh, <laughs> random information, I guess I would say, random questions and answers. Uh, I haven't necessarily noticed 
anything new in that regard. Are you saying she increased her Kevin knowledge? She did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe more dad jokes. Let's see. I don't know. Let's see. Tell me a joke. Kid joke alert. What's the easiest way to get straight A's? Use a ruler. Yikes. <laughs> Definitely a Kevin Yikes. joke. <laughs> Definitely. Um, let's see here. Oh, I know what it, I know something that's kind of neat. Um, so they've really taken a, a big step towards privacy. So Safari is the web browser, of course, that uh, Apple uses. Um, there is a, um, let me get there. Oh. oh. Okay. Apple button toolbar tabs button show book share forward from what is new in address search or enter website name address address text field. Is editing. Search or enter website name. Insertion point at school. Speech Give me off. just a second here. Okay. So, once you open the browser, the Safari web browser, uh, there is a option in the top left corner. It's uh, format options. Um, so, if you go there, and then you go to the very bottom of the screen, it's uh, privacy report. So you, if you go into privacy report, um, I don't want to get too far into this, but uh, by def you know by kind of design, most websites have tracking features to where they will um, they will you know maybe keep track of. What you like is if it's a store, um, maybe preferences or things along those lines. So Apple's really taking this uh, a bit serious um, on allowing you to deny those types of things. Um, and there's also a feature under privacy and settings where uh, you know, instead of it showing your actual address, say perhaps um, in certain apps, you can have it show a general vicinity. So it might, I might, be, I might be able to have it say, I'm in North Fort Worth, not what street I'm on, you know. So you have better control over uh, types of location data that's shared and that kind of thing. And let's see here. Um, that's kind of all I was going to cover. Don't forget this. about messages. Oh, you were so right. Okay, Your so messages. Right. Yeah. Um, and this is cool. So, you know how when you get a text message from someone, uh, say your wife or husband or someone, and so I'll just use an example. Um, Mindy sends me a message, and then Rebecca sends me a message. So now Mindy's second, Rebecca's first, then Kevin sends me a message. Now Kevin's first, Rebecca's second, Mindy's third. So you can pin someone uh, to where they're always at the top. You can actually pin, I believe it's up to nine people. Um, so their, their conversations will be always at the top of the message screen. Um, so you don't have to go down and hunt for their messages among everybody else's. So like my screen, uh, Mindy's pinned at the top, and then new messages all come in underneath that. Um, so that that's really neat. Like I said, you can pin up to nine people uh, in a in the chat window there. 
Um, you can also mention someone. So say you're in a group chat uh, with several people. Um, if you uh, if you write a message and then write their name, you can either send a nudge, or you can you know you can make that message directed at them. Um, there's also a button in there uh, now, especially for group conversations, where you can view all of the replies from one person. So that's useful. Um, and the the message screen seems to be kind of redesigned to where uh, each day is a heading. So it makes it easier to go back to find, say, a message from last week. Um, oh, and speaking of messages and speaking of Siri, uh, you can now send a audio message using Siri. So before you could go in and send an audio message through a message screen, but now you can actually use Siri to send an audio message. Let's see if that works right. Send an audio message to Rebecca Smith. Okay, recording. Testing, one, two, three. Great. Send it to Rebecca. Send. Okay, it's sent. Testing one, two, three. Nice. <laughs> All right, so we got some uh, new chat features. There are um, there are changes to the music screen, uh, notes, um, voice memos. Those are just some of the things I really haven't spent a whole lot of time learning, you know, exactly what uh, the changes are. Ah, I just thought of one. Um, so this is, uh, this is useful, and I think other apps will actually update to this, um, to where this is even more. Uh -huh. But the uh, so on the one of the Apple apps is TV. Um, so you can get in and kind of group all of your um, pro, you know, TV programming slash Netflix. Uh, you know, all the different networks have their own apps now where you can view movies and that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, when you're watching a video, say in TV, say you're watching a movie, uh, you can do what's called picture in picture. You can, um, oh, mm -hmm. you can, uh, because normally if you're watching, even if you're watching a TV, uh, a movie or something, if you leave the app, the TV app, if you leave the video, it will turn the video off. Hey, Sean. Yeah. There are a couple of people unmuted. It looks like everybody's unmuted, actually. Okay. If you want to follow. There you go. Yeah. Now you're muted. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, should be. So once you leave uh, a video, uh, you know, it, it turns the video off. Now you can actually. Um, you know, kind of like resize that video down to where you can do other things. You can go into another app. Um, this works in FaceTime, works in TV, from what I've seen so far. I'm hoping that it'll work in YouTube, because that's one of my things is, uh, you know, you're in YouTube watching a video or playing a song or, or something along those lines, and you close the app to go do something else. Well, there it goes, your video it stops. So the feature is called Picture in Picture. Um, and it, and it just allows you to keep that content going while you multitask. Do we have any questions? Looks like you're muted. Let's see. I'm mute. There we okay, go. Okay, I found it. <laughs> I was trying to was... unmute you and you, okay, go ahead. Um, okay. Are they when, how do I ask this? Okay, usually when there's an update or a software update from, for like the iPhone, mm -hmm. 
there'll be a link that you can click on for what's changing. Are they going to do like a video tutorial so that we can have a better idea yeah. and understanding? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they did that actually yesterday and you can, uh, you can probably find it on YouTube. Um, look for Apple Keynote. And okay. they go through uh, a lot of the, mostly, I mean, what they went through yesterday was the, the hardware. Now I'll give you another place to go. It's a website, it's called Apple Vis. Applevis.com, and okay. they have several. I don't even know where I am. I'm lost. You're lost. <laughs> Applevis.com. Uh, you can see several articles on there with, uh, a, I mean, a list of everything. Oh, now we got questions here. Okay, hey, wonderful. Thanks, Liz. Tracy. Hi. Um, okay. Um, on my phone, I've never heard it say wizard, but do I need to do the update first and then it will, will, will I hear wizard or is they, there a specific key, you know, key command to do, Are you to make it say. You're talking about your phone, right? Yeah. Um, so if you go to settings, general, software update that's where and okay so by default um, under under that option there's a button in there that says automatic updates okay uh -huh. so you might check in there first and see if uh, download iOS, iOS update that may be turned on and that just means that phone will automatically download updates over Wi-Fi. Uh, and then the second feature is install iOS updates. I have mine off because I don't want it to automatically do that stuff. I don't mind if it downloads any updates, you know, that I don't, uh -huh. I usually check at least once a week just to, just to make sure something's not in there. So, uh, when you go to soft, but when you go to software updates, it should tell you, um, you know, iOS 13.7, your software is up to date. Mm -hmm. Also, it depends on which, which phone do you have? I, I have an old um, SE. Okay, so you, okay, so you have the SE. Um, that should, mm -hmm. you should still be able to get 14 when now. Like I said, it came out today, uh, probably hits different parts of the country at different times, but you should- told me this morning or sometime today that I had an update, but I just always close it and then update it later. I don't update yeah. it when it first comes out, yeah. Right, right, uh, yeah, no, that's fine. No, it won't say wizard, there isn't a, uh, oh. or anything. How do I get it to say wizard so I can use it? Wizard. I, I'm missing. I'm missing something here. <laughs> like, like you, you added a wizard on your phone. Oh, a widget. A widget. Oh, okay. Widget. A widget. Okay. Yeah. Widget. Wizard widget. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. So. Speech on Fort Worth. Photos. So I, I flick down. Uh, you, you, pick, you basically f pick an icon. You flick down. Edit mode. And it says edit mode. Uh huh. And then you double tap. Started editing. And then you want to look kind of like the top left corner Weather of the screen. Editing. Done. Add widget button. And you have two buttons. You have done and add widget. Add widget. Ah. So when I hit this add widget, that's what gets me to all those little extra, um, you know, all these little widgets, all these little different okay. items in done. there. Done. Done. And, Client uh, services. And I still have my weather widget stack. I'm sorry. Okay. Did, did, and then you you have to move that widget after you're done creating it to wherever you want it, like the corner of your screen or something like that. Um, like right now, where it is, it's on um, 
So normally mail is in the top left corner of my screen. Um, now it's the second item and that widget is the first item. I could move it. Yeah, I could move it anywhere. Okay. I could put it down on the, I could put it where music yeah. is. Music. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you, you can. Okay. Messages. Okay. All right. You toss. All right, let's see here. Will it tell you when you're creating one, will it tell you what on everything, what types of widgets there oh, yeah. are for each application? Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. As when you, when, you go to, when you go to edit, you double tap that and it says uh -huh. editing and then you find that button that says add widgets. Mm -hmm. There's the whole list of them in there, all uh -huh. kinds of things. Okay. Okay. Cool. Let's try again, Jan. Uh, you might try hitting Alt A if you're on. All the Zoom. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it, it flicked. It did something screwy. Anyway, um, I have a question for you. When are they going to get to the point where? Um, you can tell Siri to add a number into your contacts oh, I know. and it will just cool. add it. I know that is one of the most, well, you know, let's see. I haven't tried it yet on 14, maybe. Add a contact. Sorry, I'm not allowed to create contacts. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> and make it so much easier. Oh, it would make it easier. And every time you told Alexa to do something, my Alexa did it. <laughs> Just so you know. Yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> so I had your doorbell ringing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, that would be my favorite thing. I don't know why they don't add that, why they can't. Um, you know, the one thing I would actually like to get into someday is all the home automation stuff because um, you can do it with the phone. You can also do it with Lady A, where you can like turn the air, you know, change the air conditioner. Or, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. If you're my Wi-Fi went out a while back, uh, the had a thunderstorm and somehow or other the Wi-Fi fried at the same time, and uh, so now my uh, Honeywell thermostat that was connected to Lady A will not connect anymore. And uh, yeah. Great. But it makes it really convenient. <laughs> right. That was Oops. all right. Um let's talk a little bit about um Windows and, and namely um JAWS and or Zoom Text or Fusion. Um I'm going to switch here. So, you know, like Apple, uh, Vespero slow, 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 slow. has a beta program. Now, Vespero is the umbrella company that owns Freedom Scientific, um, Zoom, AI Squared, all the, basically all the AT companies. Uh, can we say Monopoly? <laughs> um, Run it, Apple. And so I, on uh, the 10th, I guess it was last week, um, JAWS and Zoom Text uh, came out with their public betas of their new features. And not, now I will say that um, throughout the year they add more and more things to these um, final releases. Now normally the Zoom Text or Fusion or JAWS, uh, ver you know, new version uh, comes out every year. Uh, this one will be 2021. It comes out usually about the end of October. So they'll run for the through the beta for about a month and make sure they've squashed most of the major bugs. Um, there's there you know there's some changes to Braille displays in here. Uh, but there is one thing that I think is really neat, um, and it's called, um, what is it called? <laughs> JAWS 
Let's look. Old age. Epic start about John Wesley's technique was to the better. Once you pick a topic, M6, age as it was. So slow. Let's do a jog. Picture smart improvements edit level 2. OCR text directly into a word document. I'm through with it. Voice assistant. All right. All right. So there's a new voice assistant. Oh, I got someone even muted there. Jaws from Zoom. So there is a new uh, voice assistant with JAWS now, or Zoom Text, um, either one. Billy Hudson has left. And uh, what you can do is you can, um, you know, kind of like Lady A here or or Siri, um, instead of having to remember trying to having to remember keystrokes or how do I do this or whatever, you can say um, Sharky. Let's see. Let me do. Alt base menu system. Escape. Uh, the, the wake word basically for Jaws is, is Sharky, and it could be the way I have my computer currently set up. I might. Let's see. Let's try this again. Menu system menu. Escape. Leave it. Three search. E. Zero search escape zoom meeting. Run. Hang on. Just a second. Search. John. Would one search results list box? Listen for wake word sharky checked voices. Okay. Okay, space. We'll try it again here. Um, like I said, it could be the way I have all this zoom stuff going. This may not may or may not work. Sharky. Speech rate up. Okay, so probably not going to work here. Um, I will say that there right now there's about 12 different commands depending on um, you know whether it's Zoom text or JAWS, but you can uh, you can either have a wake word to where you say Sharky or Zoomy <laughs> depending on the program you're running, and then you can like in, in Zoom text you could say increase magnification or color contrast on, color contrast off. Um, you can, you know, speak the settings instead of having to remember all these crazy keystrokes. Um, one other new feature that was, uh, is in this 2021 version of JAWS slash Zoom text is um, picture smart. So kind of like this description that's given through voiceover. You also have the picture, this um, functionality in JAWS and Zoom text. Unloaded. Hit Zoom. Um, I'm going to go back to JAWS 2020 that I've been using. There we go. And um, that's kind of all I got today as far as what I've discovered. Uh, What's new in all this software? I'll probably run across more, more time I spend on it. Well, let's see if we got any more questions. You can always email me, um, skeen, S-K-E-E-N, at lighthousefw.org.